Jordan Whitehead is talking mad noise to us, y'all. He is talking mad noise to Buck Nation. And I I don't know if I have a problem with that. Before I get into the video, guys, we did our jersey giveaway yesterday. And we have a winner. I'm going to post the video towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Now, Jordan Whitehead is talking shade to the Buccaneers. But before I get into that, let me just tell you about that. So free agency, one of the biggest events of any offseason, whether it's NBA or NFL, because a lot of things can happen. Me personally, I love offseason because I can go to my NBA 2K or my Madden and just update the rosters. And I just like to see how the change of the rosters, how it impacts, you know, the roster. This has been one of the best free agency periods I can remember. Because every team was affected by free agency. And I count the draft as, a, as off season too. So this off season, either your team was affected in a positive manner, such as the Oakland Raiders, the Cleveland Browns, the Miami Dolphins, or they were affected in a negative way alive the Seahawks or the Packers or they got a or they got a, a good shot their future as in the Jets with Sauce Gardner whatever every team felt free agency this period every team ain't no team went out of touch so Jordan Whitehead was our safety and was one of the hardest hitting players in the league was signed by the Jets on a two-year, fourteen and a half million dollar contract. Now, whether he didn't make that in Tampa, we don't know. I mean, we was already, I mean, we was, we was get ready to get our paying our big guys first, the Godwins, the Carlton Davis, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, before we shimmy on down. But maybe he got some a team friendly deal, maybe some closer, maybe, maybe not. But now that Jordan Whitehead gets to the Jets, he talks to. Pro Football Network, and it basically he just said he's having frustrations with the team of his time in Tampa Bay, and he went on the quote and said, I'm a team player, but I was frustrated. I would come out third down. Sometimes I just felt like I was not making enough plays, and I was being a leader on the team. I feel like I should have been in the game. I'm a team player, team first mentality, but I definitely was frustrated. I think anybody would be. So let's break that down. So I get what Jordan Whitehead said, because it's basically he's not getting enough snaps. I understand that. You know, you're not getting enough snaps. You feel like you do a play, a, a pass deflection one play, and then you're out the game the next play. I understand that. The problem with that is, though, you're not a starter. If I don't think. I think it, I think Mike Edwards the starter over. Yeah, Mike Edwards the starter. So you're not going to, no, no, John White is a starter. John White is a starter, I'm sorry. John White is a starter. And I get it. The problem with that is, it's a rotation. Mike Edwards got to get some playing time too. But I, but what I think is frustrating for Jordan Whitehead was there was a contract year. He's trying to get paid somewhat. And he just, he, was, he just wants to, he just wants to put his name out there in free agency and have a good season, a great season, and probably get the bag. And I have no problem with that. But end of the day, this is still a team first game. You know, whatever you do, let it benefit the team and not your own personal benefit. And I think that's what it kind of rotates. And you know, he can say I'm a team first player and everything. And I would be and he should be frustrated. You know, he was a fourth round pick, earned his way up to the starting rotation, and now he got a chance for this big payday, potentially, and it's not getting the opportunity of the the hundred percent opportunity that he felt like he deserved. So, I see where Jordan Whitehead is coming from. But then, you know, it gets worse because now they just signed Logan Ryan. They signed Keanu Neal. So, now it's definitely his playing time is going to dwindle even less. Jordan Whitehead had a great season last year, I think. 73 tackles, 5 tackles for loss, 6 pass deflections, 2 INTs, and a forced fumble. And a parch in the pear tree. Good season. Not a Pro Bowl. But it was a very, very good season for him. So I agree with what he said. I completely understand. But the problem is, he should have left well enough alone. Left well enough alone. 
But then he go back and say the Jets defense is the best he's been on in years. Or one of the best he's ever seen or something, something like that. This Jets defense. So I said, let me see their roster. What makes this Jets defense so good? I look at the roster. You got DJ Reed, Bryce Hall, LaMarcus Joyner, who's pretty good. And then they added Sauce Garner. And I'm going to get on Sauce in a minute. So the Jets, basically all your categories are all dead last. That made why you guys was not a good team. So I don't see how. Like, what was so good about the Jets as compared to us? What you want to ring with? And and I and I see everybody's putting this stock into Sauce Gardner. And I'm very interested to see how this man play. Like, I'm I'm so ready for Madden 223 to come out. I, I really want to see how Sauce is. For somebody to say I'm the best, I don't think I'm, I'm the best player in the draft. I want to see how good you are, you know, because you are in a your division not easy. You know, Tyreek just went to Miami. Josh Allen got Stephon, and who was New England? Matt Jones became a Pro Bowler. So I, I I don't see I don't see what they're gonna do. Now you are probably the best player on that defense, probably. Who knows? Maybe you are, but we'll see. But it just, I get it. I, I get that you're happy. You're trying to aggressive yourself with your new team. But don't, but like the Jets are not one of the best defenses you've seen. That's just a secondary. That's just no. And Sauce Garner is not, the, he's not Deion Sanders. So, well, I, I may, well, maybe he is. We don't know. But just, we just hyped him up too much. But my biggest concern for Jordan Whitehead is, I remember I made a video a couple months ago about Carlton Davis and if he, when he was a free agent and we were trying to negotiate with him and the Jets was linked to Carlton Davis and I made a video saying that if Carlton Davis go to the Jets, will he be the same person as he was when he was with Tampa Bay or will he be an overpaid player on a bad team who get exposed and get blamed for being an overpaid player? And that's how I feel like with Jordan Whitehead. He gonna go to a horrible team not contribute much, but he's gonna get paid. But then after that, what's what's next? But luckily, he's going to the Jets. Ty Bowles runs a three-four defense. He was a Ty Bowles was the Jets head coach. He ran three-four. Tampa runs a three-four. So he's back to running to three. So he's running again, running three-four defense. So it will help him. It will help him. I hope you know it works out for him. Don't care. He's not on our team. He's not Bucks, but hey, he got his bag, and that's all I and I always take up for a player to get in their bag. Guys, so a thousand subs would I would do a two jersey, I would do two jersey giveaways. My voice is a little scratchy, that's why I'm kinda of stuttering stammering right now. A thousand subs would get I would do two jersey giveaways, guys. So thank you for watching the video and enjoy and congratulate the winner of the Chris Goblin jersey giveaway.